So for particle tracking using Fiji, so first you need to open Fiji. So Fiji is, is an extension uh, version of ImageJ, which is something like this with a tiny window. So we need to drag the desired videos, uh, the particle stacks into Fiji. So there's a gray, uh, gray areas. So you could put, you see, drag and drop. So you drag the particle stacks into the Fiji. So if you, uh, is successfully uploaded to Fiji, so you can see the particles videos is shown here. So then we will go to the Fiji plugin. We go to plugin and then we click tracking. So tracking does a bunch of plugins of tracking. So here we'll use TrackMate. We'll use TrackMate. So after you uh, turn on the uh, TrackMate, so it's like a little tiny plugin uh, pop up window. So the first frame is all. Uh, well, so just click next. There's a bunch of uh, detector. So the example we're using today is the um, threshold detectors. So in here, you may click auto to see if they could recognize the particles, or you could manually uh, keep changing the intensity threshold. So you could click preview and see if they could track the particles correctly. So you, if you are satisfied with the results, so you could click next. So after clicking next, it will start detecting the particles automatically. If you click next, so here you can first like eliminate some of the uh, unwanted noise of the particles. Or, well, there are some different spots that is uh, detected. So we will keep clicking the contrast quality. You can use different factors to uh, neglect some of the noise or particles. But uh, as an example, and also as just a first step, so we could select all the particles here. So keep clicking next. So there are different trackers. So today we'll use the simple LAP trackers. So it has a automatic uh, pixels and also frame gap. Uh, so you can input the value that you want and click next again. So it will track after you track the results. So you could see the particles are shown with the trajectories. So you could see some of them are noise, some of them are having the uh, short uh, trajectories. So you could click next. So here is the place where you could, well, eliminate some of the noise. For example, you could, uh, using the track displacement, you could use the number of slots in track. So also, uh, the total distance travel to, uh, eliminate and neglect some of the noises that you are spotted. So click next. So here's just a display options. And down here, you can see if you click in the tracks and sports. So for example, I click in the tracks. So you can uh, see and like Excel data format, uh, data sheets. So you can see all the uh, data stored here. So for example, the X, Y set, uh, positions as well as the T frame. So the time frame. So we could click next, uh, next again. So here you could, uh, capture the results here. So, but, uh, the most important one is to export the tracks to XML file to extract export the tracks to XML files, which we'll use and then click execute, click execute, and then save it somewhere. You can save it somewhere. So after you save the XML file, then we need to use, we need to use the uh, MATLAB for data analyze and plot the graph for the XML file that we just saved. So in here, so it's all, there's already, uh, some prescriptive code here. So, uh, we'll click run. 
So it will start tracking the NSD curves and we will pull up the NSD uh, tracks of curves that uh, is the desired result and see if it is desired or not.